In this video, Sam is going to show you how you can replace the engine starter on a GMC Savannah. So the first step, you're going to want to remove the negative terminal on the battery, which on this one is a 14 millimeter. So let's just... Put this bolt somewhere safe. Pop this off. Just kind of shove it somewhere out the way, so that way you know you aren't going to actually arc anything off the starter. So there's two bolts. There's one right here next to the oil pan, and there's one right here. They're both 13 millimeters. And we can't really get a socket on this one because of the little shield here. So we're just going to use a wrench, open end. These should be two types. You should be fine with the open-ended wrench. Kind of. So there's one of the bolts. And now it's time to go take this one out. And be sure to support the star while you're doing this so don't fall on your face. Because we don't want that. There's your other bolt. Now, just kind of wiggle the starter out some. You may want to take this little cover seal on, off, just a few more room to wiggle it off. That just pops off and on the solenoid. And then, uh, once it's off, I just support it up because there's going to be these wires hooked in. You can see. One is the main wire, the other is the ground. This one looks like it has, yeah, it has a connector, so feels like on the other side. Give me one second. Okay, so it looks like it's going to pull up. Just going to slide it on out. And uh, this is a great trick. If you can't see something great, just take a video with your flash on. And then you'll be able to see it just fine. There it goes, you just pull up a little bit on this little yellow thing and it'll slide on out. And then this part, the other wire, it's a 13. And right now I have it kind of supported on this nut in the frame right here. You don't really want to just let it hang. And on some starters you can take these off beforehand, but I usually find it just easier to get to them to do it after you kind of get the starter out of the way. You just don't really want to just, you know, hold the starter up by the wires. Now that we took this low nut off, we just go pop this off and here's your starter. And what I like to do is whenever I take the starter off, I just put a little flashlight up in the hole to take a look at the flywheel. Just to make sure the teeth are still there and it's not messed up. So as you can see, the teeth look pretty good on it, so the star, uh, flywheel's in good condition. And now it's time to go compare the parts and put the new one in. You're going to want to look at the new one compared to the old one. You can see some slight differences, like the little fins here, but that don't matter as long as it's the same size, same bolt pattern, and that the solenoids on it. As you can see, these solenoids are matching. It has the same connector here, and all that good stuff. So they gave us the right one. Now it's time to go put it on. And then slip the power wire on. Put the washer on. Thread the nut on. Some of these, they give you a new lead. They need to crimp and heat shrink to the existing one. But this one has a little connector. So we just need to plug that back in. And there's give it a little tug to us. Don't pull it by the wires. Pull it by the connector. See, this one's passing the tug test. So now we're good. We can go tighten down the other lead. Don't want to make this too tight. Just want to crush the washer. All right, so it seems the new one is not a 13. So you're going to want to put a 14. 
So I'm just gonna pop this off real quick just to make it easier on me. Now we got it pretty tight by hand. I'm just gonna want to torque it down a little bit, don't want it too tight. Now that that's tight, can't really wiggle it. We can plug this back in. You hear that little clip, give it a tug test. And now it's time to go put this in here. So you're gonna wanna lift this up, kinda wiggle it around. And it should slide right into place, just like that. And now you're gonna wanna kinda hold it up there. And you can see the bolts threading up here, so we're just gonna put these in. And just kinda wait for it to feel the threads bite. You can see this thread bit. Now it's threaded in. We're gonna take our 13 millimeter right footed. And again with these, you don't want these to be too tight. Definitely want them snugged up. But you don't want to go overkill with it. So now that it's kind of snugged up there, just give it a nice pull to you can tell it's tight. Now it's time to move on to this one. We can get a socket on now. If you remember before this little shield here was blocking the socket from going on, but it works now just fine. It's so not snug. Before I forget, you're gonna want to put this little shield plate thingy back on. Just slide over on top of the solenoid. Clips in. You may smash your finger, but that's okay. Now you go and plug the battery back in and test it out. We're gonna take our negative cable, get it ready, and put it in, thread it in, and then just snug it up. There we go, look at that, snug there. Maybe just one more. Usually these have a washer. Somebody replaced this with the incorrect, same thread though, so it works.